So, it is a free SQL database uh, for a testing purpose. So, it will give nearly 5 MB of space. So, we can create uh, tables and we can use this from the remote connection also. So, from this I would like to first time I want to sign up. So, this is the first time I want to register. I am supplying my Gmail account. So, I need to create a new, uh, I need to check I am not a robot. Um, at the same time, I need to register. So, registration completed. So, the details are sent to my mail ID. So, I am just checking my mail. So, yes, I received a mail. So, I need to click here to complete the registration. So, it is trying to open free database.com register password. So, I need to give the password. So, I given some password uh, here. So, I click on save password. This is only for first time. Yes. Now, I can log in with the registered uh, mail ID. And I can give the password which is given right now. And I need to click on I am not a robot and click on login. Yes. So, I entered to the environment free SQL database. So, I need to click on my complete my SQL registration. Just wait, we need to select the country India and I need to click on complete my registration. So, it is expecting the location Asia first week, save the location. So, now here I need to start new database. So, my database is going to be create this is the host name, this is the database name and this is the username. It is going to be generate the password and the details is going to be sent to your mail id. So, for first time it will take uh, one or two minutes. So, I am going to refresh my mail id. So, it is waiting. So, I need to check, yes, I am only got uh, the complete details. So, it will take uh, less than 1 minute or 2 minute. So, by using these uh, details, I can connect, uh, it is the host name, database name, username and this is the password and the port number. These are the complete details uh, to connect with this database from remote uh, system. Just so if you can see, it is showing just save location it will be refreshed here. And if you can connect with the PHP my admin also. So PHP my admin. This is the environment. So if you click on this the same details 
you can connect with this what is the username I'm making copy so this already username is there username and uh, I need to copy the host host name and I need to give the password which is already provided by this so I need to click on I am not a robot and go it is going to be login but one thing you need to remember it is a public environment uh, it majorly used for testing purpose only because without disturbing our local databases we can use this environment so it will always a little bit uh, slow in the online environment because it is a publicly several people are trying to access this environment so this is our uh, environment from this already this is the database a fixed database we have only 5 MB spaces there that's why it is for testing purpose we can uh, create a few tables so I am creating a simple key simple table so it is a student table id name roll number marks and auto increment id is auto increment primary key is id it is a simple table I created So simply I created one table student here at present uh, there is no data in this table. So I want to insert data from this by using uh, Google Colab on, on Python programming. So I want to create a new notebook. So I already have the details in my mail which contain database name, username, password by using this only I connected the PHP my admin and the same details I am going to connect uh, here. So first of all I need to uh, write one statement it is a pip install MySQL connector so which is most important uh, to uh, in the connection of MySQL in Python. So it is mandatory for every program with the explanatory symbol we can keep this. So if it is a, it is a cloud environment may be automatically removed after some time. So if the notebook is closed and opened on that time this connector is going to be uninstalled from the uh, colab that is why I am fixedly writing this line at the top of uh, my code. So after that only I am going to import mysql dot connector so if it is not available this line is going to be install the mysql connector after that i am importing the mysql dot connector uh, uh, package uh, from this so after this i need to connect mysql uh, mydb connectivity things i need to give it so i am giving mydb is equal to mysql dot connector so connector dot it has the connect function is there so this function contains the connect function contain all the details like uh, host so what is the remote server name and user I need to give it everything so user and I need to give password and I need to give database name so these details I need to provide for the MySQL connect so host details 
which is already received to my mail id so this is the host and uh, this is my username and password is also i received through mail that's why i need to supply all these details and my database name is this but my table name is student i created so this is the simple my db once this is executed the connection will be received in my db it is just like your uh, con connection so you can uh, give it any name so i can give con also <coughs> so once uh, the connection is established i need to create a cursor so is nothing but uh, uh, like create statement in java like my cursor is equal to my cursor is equal to connection dot cursor of so once cursor is created so i can insert and execute uh, my sql statement that's why i'm creating my sql statement so insert into my table name is student because just now i created student is the table so it contains name roll number marks id is the auto increment so that's why it is uh, not mandatory to here name roll number and marks is required so so student of i need to provide name roll number and marks these are the fields i need to fill up and values of i need to give a percentile string uh, data so percentile s and uh, percentile uh, s this is the statement uh, i prepared so after this i can supply the values in another uh, tuple so it is the first value first percentile as represents like uh, rama it's a name and second percentile is it's contain roll number for example i can give uh, 27 and third percentile i can uh, supply the uh, marks like i can give 540 so these are the details i provided so one is the sql uh, statement another one is the values uh, tuple so i can pass these two to the execute uh, function so my cursor my create statement like create statement so my cursor dot execute of it take two arguments one is sql statement the other one is values set your statement is executed but you must provide commit if you did not provided commit it not going to save so connection dot Uh, the commit of function i need to run so once all these things happen so my cursor is going to return uh, affected rows so i want to print my cursor dot affected rows is nothing but a row count so i can give a comment if it is written one row so one row is insert this is comment i am giving so now i am trying to execute this code so i am clicking on this
So, it is just going to establish a connection. So, it is uh, installing the MySQL connector and successful DV built MySQL connector. So, one row inserted. So, now I can check my database whether the data is inserted or not from the remote uh, python. So, I am checking yes the rama 27 is the roll number 540 is the mocks inserted. So, through colab and with the help of uh, free sql database dot com. So, I can do all the operations. So, if I want to uh, display new cell So, I am forwarding this here I need to forward here I need to give my sorry buffered equal to true. So, because uh, the result set right now I want to read data like uh, my cursor dot so execute of i need to select all the data select star from student then it will return a result result equal to I need to use uh, my cursor dot fetch all. So, all the result I am fetching to the result variable, then for some x in if we have uh, 10 results, 10 rows. So, it will store in result uh, object. So, that is why I am iterating. So, I am trying to print off x. So, by using like this, I am going to compile this. So, it is printed the result. So, this is the code. This is the code to insert the data, and this is the code to retrieve the data from the database. Actually, this is not mandatory for the local execution. So, it is only when you are cloud in Google Colab Sheet, this line is. Uh, mandatory because of if you open if we close and open the sheet so means jupyter notebook so mysql connector is uh, unavailable that's why every time i am using this it is not mandatory in local system so you can connect by using the same thing you can connect from the local terminal also 